this is going to be a reading for Aquarius. Hi Aquarius! Why do I feel like my camera's off? I feel like I'm looking... I don't know. Feels weird. Okay, so whoo, we have some things. Um, I have my Rider Waite. Um, I have my Heal Yourself reading cards, which would use for a spirit message. And I wanted to try these new cards. They're not new. I've had them for a really long time, but I haven't used them in a really long time. <clears throat> they are called, let me see, let me show you. Excuse me. They're called the Love Pack. <clears throat> and it says, release the past, reveal your future, and transform your love life. So if you have any shadows my beautiful Aquariuses, then this deck will definitely show you those shadows. Let me get myself together real quickly. All right. Um, so before we get started, though, I do have a few announcements. So I'm going to be making these little necklaces here. Do you see this? This one, I'm trying to zoom in. This one has an amethyst in it, and it's just in a little bead cage lantern. So... <laughs> Excuse me. What's going on with my throat chakra? <clears throat> I'm doing some throat chakra healing work. <laughs> per the advice of my friend Fairy. And, um, yeah. So that's probably what's going on. I don't know why my camera f feels... It's weird. I don't know. It just feels off today. Anyways, those will be available in my Etsy shop. Um, probably at the same, well, the smaller ones were, I think, 10. These will probably be 15 because the crystal in them will be a lot bigger. So those will be available by the end of the month. Um, and oh, you guys, I have a new product. <clears throat> okay, so this right here, I am so proud of it. You can't even see it. It's so, okay. Let me try to zoom in on this. You can't even, let me see. There, okay. So this is my sexy soak. It says chakra bunny sexy soak. And this is bath salt. <clears throat> it is, um, excuse me. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm seriously having some throat chakra issues. So this is Epsom salts, um, pink Himalayan sea salt, pink peonies, and peach blossoms. Um, the, the blossoms are dried, obviously. Um, it's all organic. Let's see. The oils in here are um, also organic. And they are bergamot essential oil and grapefruit essential oil. I have also charged and activated these for romance and tantric sexuality so you guys i'm so <laughs> excited to introduce this oh this is my labor of love so the whole idea behind these are um and i'll talk about them probably in a later live that i will do on instagram but <clears throat> being a busy mom um I don't have a lot of time to do self-care and sometimes when you're a busy mom you tend to forget what it's like to actually be a woman you know because you're you're just you're so busy being mom and so the idea behind Chocolate Bunny Sexy Soap was I wanted every woman to feel seen and to bring us back to our roots of like just being a woman not being a mom not being a nurse not being you know someone's wife or whatever but just what it just back to the feeling of what it's like to be a woman and so this was a huge undertaking for me that i really enjoyed and i put so much love and you know i put my foot in it <laughs> not literally but you know, I put my whole heart and soul into this and, you know, I made the recipe myself. I made the, um, the label myself and I even got those little sealed for your protection, like <laughs> labels 
And I just, I put so much of my personal energy into this. So I'm so excited to allow you guys to purchase this from my Etsy shop. And I hope you love it as much as I do. Um, and I use this um, as much as I can. I, I love to take baths. I love, love, love to take baths. So I use it a lot. And sorry for any background noise. My children also use it. Um, their, their version of it is not activated and charged obviously well it is activated but it's activated and charged with love it's a totally different intention um but they have they have the same recipe but just like not activated for love and romance obviously um so I hope that you guys love this as much as I do because I put so much love into these they're going to be available on my Etsy shop which is um under Chakra Money Tarot and they will be available for $20. Uh, so it's a steal. And these are, this is an eight ounce container. So it'll last a minute. So there's my little feel. I also have some more third eye friends coming. Remember I told you that um, I'm working on some new third eye friends. So in a, in a different video, I might just do another video like later or go live on Instagram to talk about the Chakra Money Sexy Soap. And my whole concept behind the third eye friends because, you know, that's a total different concept. But it's basically a stuffed animal that has a crystal here on the third eye. And those were inspired by my children. So I will have more of those. I'm going to have a giant elephant watch. Let me show you. Hold on. Let me let me grab it. So this, <laughs> this guy, he's so cute. This guy is going to be one of my new third eye friends. <clears throat> and he is so big. Look at how... Look at how big he is, you guys. So size comparison, me and the elephant. Look at how, oh my gosh. He's like 15 inches, I think, is what I was, if I recall correctly. And he's so soft, you guys. He's so soft. He's so soft. And, um, you know, he will have a third eye, so he'll have a crystal here. Um, these ones I bought for my kids. And I'm getting ready to put the crystal on them, though I haven't decided what crystals I'm going to use yet. But this same third eye friend will be available in my Etsy shop as well. But I only have one. So, and since it's so big, it's going it's going to be more expensive, obviously, than my other third eye friends. But so worth it. Um, he's going to be probably around 80 bucks. So whew, he's so soft. I I love him. I love him. I love him. So I brought three of those for my kids, and then I have one for sale. Um, there's also going to be some, you know, secret third eye friends that will be released, you know, later. We'll talk about them. So let's. But we're eight minutes in, and I'm still talking. So I'm sorry. I apologize, Aquarius. Um, if you, even if your your friends are not Aquariuses. Please like and share this video so that people know about my new products. Okay, because <clears throat> every little bit helps, guys. You know, even if it's just like the few. And I'll probably cut that the first eight minutes um, and <laughs> like put it on Instagram as I'm talking about my products. <laughs> so that way I can just, or maybe I'll just put it. You know what I'll probably do is cut it and then put it on all of my videos. Like my little spiel. <laughs> all right, so, all right, Aquarius, we're going to go into your reading. All right, we're going to do something different this time. We're going to do, let's cut these. We're going to do eight cards of the tarot, and then we'll do um, two cards to see if you have any shadows, and then we'll do your spirit message. And that'll be the end of your reading. Reading now for Aquarius. Thank you for allowing me to be the clear channel for source messages. I hope you guys are having a beautiful full moon eclipse. Okay. Aquarius, four cards. Whoa, wowzers and wowzers. Whoa, spirit is being super theatrical. They're throwing cards out at me. Okay, so I don't know what's going on, Aquarius, as a typical Aquarius reading. We have Ace of Cups, which is, you know, to me shows a new relationship. But then it came out... <sighs> so, Wounded Warrior came out right next to it. Like... <laughs> Ah, that one flew out. So, Nine of Wands. Oh, Lord have mercy. This side energy is the devil. We're going to leave that over there. So, there's this energy of like a lot of new things wanting to come in. 
but there's this devil energy and this sort of like wanting to protect yourself wounded warrior energy see there it is again okay i feel like you guys are in this very defensive mood recently you know not wanting to open up and just as i was about to say that because we got the nine of wands which is the wounded warrior look what else came out let's show it in the light right here so you guys can see it can you see that king of swords <clears throat> king of swords came out so we got two cards of sort of being protective not wanting to open up and i don't know what happened since the last time i did your last reading because last time you guys were opened up and good and i don't know what what happened <clears throat> i don't know what happened Three more, please, Spirit. Ooh, okay. Oh, they've got another side energy card that came out. Hold on. Can we get two more cards, please? Oh, my God. You guys have some beautiful energy, though. In spite the, of the fact that you guys are very sort of detached and protecting your hearts, your intuition is popping like everything's beautiful the intuition is really strong you got the magician and the high priestess they came out together that's two major arcanas actually three if you count the devil energy last card please spirit wow okay i take that back aquarius you got four major arcana you got the magician you have the high priestess you have the hermit and then you have the side energy which was the devil for some reason, though, you guys are seriously on the defense. You guys are going through some shit, which is causing you to be very defensive. You know, this came out as a side energy, too. Look at this. Seven of Wands. So, you know, feeling like you need to fight um, to defend something. Defend yourself. Defend your honor. <sighs> three cards like that um i feel like a lot of you are in your divine masculine mode too like the king of swords for me is like very divine masculine mode um sort of i don't know it, it's like this feeling of I can do everything by myself, like I don't need help um, type energy. And I'm. it's kind of worrying me a little bit because I feel like for the longest time, this magician card shows me that you guys have been really trying to manifest like your divine counterpart. And yet I feel like for a lot of you, if you don't put down this sword and sort of balance out that divine masculine energy with this sort of energy right here, that when it comes in, you you might not be ready for it. And we got two cards of like this new wanting to come in, this new relationship. New relationship, like some new prospects. I mean, it could be money, but, you know, we're doing a love reading. So basically, you know, new things, um, a new path. And I feel like this new relationship that that is going to come in will really like sustain you. Like it's going to fulfill you in every way. Yeah, this whole devil energy on the side is really worrying me. Along with this defensive, you know, this energy. Um, King of Swords. <sighs> Be careful of being... Too overly protective of your space. Um, yes, it's healthy to put up boundaries. At the same time, be careful of being too logical and sort of, um, you know, saying to yourself, sorry, someone's using the bathroom for the toilet flush. 
this energy of, of being too logical and saying like, oh, th this is not what it is. You know, it, it, this is, it can't be, you know, th this can't be my partner. I've waited and waited forever and there's no way that it would come in this easy. Because I feel like it is going to come in that easy. And you're going to be like, when it comes in, you're going to be like, whatever. It's just another false, you know, soulmate or false twin or whatever. The label's not important. But I feel like th this has the potential to be like a really good connection like possibly a person and you know because you're in this defensive mode I feel like you there's a chance that you might not see it for what it is when it comes in does that make sense so keep keep open keep an open space and heart Aquarius um, I do see though that, you know, your intuition is really strong. So I feel like when, you know, these new energies come in, you know, these new people start coming in, I feel like you'll be able to tell like, which is like the real connection and which is like the fuckery connection. If that makes sense there, that's better. The camera was like off and it was like, I was looking sideways. So, yeah, I definitely feel like that. Um, we have a page of cups, which is this energy, too, of, like, someone watching you very intently, like, um, spying on you, that type of energy. And along with this devil card, they came out, like, super close together. The devil card came out and then this one. So I feel like this person that will be coming in, they, they know you inside and out, or they think they do. They have been watching you for a really, really long time. Um, they have been watching you on the sidelines with you. you I, I feel like the thing is, though, I was going to say unaware, but this card right here keeps screaming at me that you're definitely aware. Like, you probably know who this person is. You might have a hunch that um, who this person is and that they've been watching you, whatever. And they think you're a magical ass bitch. Because this, these two cards came out back to back. Look at this. Um, but right now, this Hermit card right here is showing me that you're perfectly content being alone. These two cards also together are showing me that this whole eclipse brought for you, Aquarius, some major fucking enlightenment. Like, major. Like, we got, you know, crown chakra busted wide open with the magician, the high priestess, and also the hermit, to me right now, is screaming enlightenment, along with this card as well. You know what your soul is here to do, and you're not fucking around. So, I mean, it's amazing energy. Just be careful not to be too cold when this, you know, new connection comes in. I'm going to actually go ahead and get one more card to close it out. Can we get one last card? What is the last you want Aquarius to know about this connection, please? Ooh, it flew out. King of Pentacles. Ooh, Earth sign, energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, right? So this is not a shitty connection. This is not a shitty divine masculine this is a divine masculine who's probably really wealthy, which is the same energy I was picking up in your reading last time. This very wealthy, like Mr. Gray type energy. I remember that came out in your reading last time, Aquarius. So the same type of energy, except for this time, your divine masculine feels more grounded. Um, and they're very patient. They are so patient. They're just like waiting very patiently. Oh my God, Taurus. Hold on. Taurus. I said Taurus because it, it, it's Taurus energy. This, there's two bulls on it. One second. Okay, I paused my camera phone at 19.09. My allergies have been way crazy off the hook. Okay, I need a, I need a trim, y'all. Look at my ends are so bad. And I'm going to go get it trimmed. You see these? They're really dry, so I need to get them trimmed. I need to go get my nails done. Lots of stuff. I've been really busy. All right. Um, I know. Too busy for my self-care. This is not good. We are going to pull from this love deck. What's it called? The love pack and see. Why 
why is this why is this dark not showing up? If you have any shadows in regards to love, I feel like we've already seen your shadows. Like it's energy of too detached and too cold. Detachment is good, but not at the expense of your heart, you know? Or someone else's. Alright, so does Aquarius have any shadows? What does Aquarius' his spirit team want them to know in regards to their shadows? We get two cards for Aquarius' shadows in regards to love. Now, if you guys don't do not have any shadows, then you know just relax. Nothing will come up. It'll be there'll be, you know, pleasure cards or whatever. Why? Let me just adjust my damn chair. Oh my butt. Alright. Shadows for Aquarius. Sorry, spirit, I'm getting distracted. Shadows for Aquarius, please. Oh, oh, Lord. Spirit is so dramatic. They just threw out like five cards. We ain't doing all that, Spirit. <clears throat> Nobody got time for this shit right now. Two cards, please. Okay. Ooh, first card is not a shadow. You got joy. <clears throat> Excuse my throat chakra. Excuse the fuck out of you, throat chakra. Can you stop? I have been having so many issues with my throat chakra, you guys. Um, you know, like most of my illnesses, like you guys know I was really sick for a while. And I was puking. And I mean, I I was just, I was puking all over the place. And I had no idea why. And then after that, I had a sore throat for like two days. I lost my voice. I couldn't talk. I was completely hoarse. And then, you know, I got a reading from the beautiful and talented, fascinating fairy. Because I did a sexual energy read for her, and in return, she did a regular, like, standard tarot reading for me. And she told me, and if you guys haven't checked out her channel, check out her channel. She goes by the Fascinating Fairy. Fairy is spelled F-A-E-R-Y. Um, she's not posting right now because she is, you know, working on herself and stuff. And she's busy. She also has three children. But she told me to work on my throat chakra, and so I have been, but... In the meantime, there's all this, I don't know, it's shit, you guys. So, and so I've been doing that. There's obviously some trapped energy there. I've also been doing some hula hooping to try to get the energy, the stagnant energy moving. Oof. Okay, so we have 39, which is joy. It's a grace card. Which is something that is given to you and bestowed upon you by the divine. Okay. What? Hold on one second. Okay. So, grace card is something that is, it's a gift that is bestowed upon you from the divine. So, you are being given right now the gift of joy, Aquarius. There's something that's going to happen that is, and I can sort of feel this energy of like ecstatic bliss so i they're not showing me exactly what it is that's coming in for you but it's gonna be something that's fucking amazing and it's gonna floor you and it's gonna feel so fucking amazing because i just want to like fucking grin from ear to ear right now feeling the energy and let me show you the card it's um you know, it could even be like um, a moment of bliss with your divine masculine or divine feminine. Look, it's like they're floating on the clouds. There's a very strong feeling of like floating on air. It's beautiful. We did have a shadow that came up though. This is number 72, Manipulation. It is a problem card or a shadow. So it's the shadow of being um, trying to manipulate the situation or people in order to get your way. So let's go ahead and go into that. Say, manipulation is an attempt to use someone to get our own way and have our needs met. It is a win-lose game, but eventually it can only end in loss. It aggravates whoever we are manipulating and they dislike being on the losing end and will eventually withdraw from us or begin to try and win their own game. Manipulation comes from a lack of worthiness to receive. So we attempt to take, which alienates those around us. Even if this does not trigger their competitiveness, they will leave us so as not to lose. Manipulation is a clumsy and counterproductive defense against old heartbreak, feelings of unworthiness, and rejection. 
but eventually it brings about those very feelings. Manipulation starts with the belief that we will be rejected, so we play games rather than honestly ask for what we want. It is important to examine the self-defeating behavior of manipulation because this is the very behavior that leads to rejection. You are willing to use another person to get what you want through manipulation. However, when you have this pattern inside you, it will also cause you to be used by people of stronger persuasion. Even if you win or get what you wanted through manipulation, it still reinforces your sense of unworthiness. You believe you succeeded, not through any worth of your own, but only through manipulation. This is a self-defeating behavior which you can only heal with awareness and by making another choice. Otherwise, this low form of scam, scheming and taking will come to a bad end. Oh, for sure. Definitely something that you do not want any energy or part in Aquarius. All right, let's do your spirit message and then we're going to call this a reading for you. Okay. do Aquarius a spirit message please thank you for allowing me to be the clear channel for source messages for Aquarius and for Aquarius spirit team this has been a beautiful reading and Aquarius your energy feels so good today it's just so you know you guys are on the tip top of your game all right what is Aquarius's final message all right wow you are is it going through some shit huh this scorpio moon is not no is no joke it's bringing out some fucking shadows we have victim consciousness number 12 let's read it yeah scorpio is definitely no joke oh my god there is a raven on here she's got some tattoos there is a snake by her feet. There is all sorts of like, oh, it looks like lost souls in her skirt. Can you see this? There's a snake. Um, there's like these scary lost souls they look like. There's a raven. She's got a tattoo. It's a spider. Lots of things going on in this card. There's a wolf. It looks like a werewolf in the background um, over here. I don't even know what the fuck that is. I don't know. I can't even tell what it is. All right. Let's go. 12. Number 12. Add it up. It's three. Stop blaming others and take responsibility for what you are creating. It is easier to think that life is unfair and point a finger at others. If you hear yourself saying, life is unfair, bad things always happen to me, I'm not good enough, nobody cares about me, why me, I can't do what I want to do, etc., then you are losing your power. Nourishing your victim aspect and a certain, <laughs> and ask, damn it, and ascertaining your place in the victim club, I cannot read today. Your inner victim can stop you from moving forward by creating dramas making you judge others, telling you that you don't deserve better and keeping you stuck in a financial rut. You need to build your internal confidence, self-worth, and courage. Get out of your comfort zone and work on expanding and growing in all areas of your life. The light side of the victim archetype, ar <laughs> see, the light side of the victim archetype is the victorious part which can help you to hold your power without getting angry and attacking others. It can also assist you to create healthy boundaries and act from a place of honesty, integrity, compassion, and love. Oh, Lord. And it says that you can visualize your inner victim, ask to be aware when you are acting like a victim, and then ask your inner victim to show you how you could behave in a more empowered way. How do you need to think, feel, and act to be more empowered? On a daily basis, ask yourself, am I acting from an empowered, victorious perspective or a victim perspective? All right, so that is going to be your reading, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Um, join me on Patreon if you would like to. I do sexual energy reads for the month, which I'm going to be starting on those soon. That'll be next, um, very soon. If you feel so guided to tip me, I also have my little tip jar. That is always in the description box below. If you want to purchase a reading from me, you can do that as well. And I always enjoy doing readings for you guys. If you click the little description um, button, it's like it, it pops up the description box. It's like a little arrow on the side and it pops up underneath my description box. And it's got all of my prices. It's got my Etsy shop if you guys want to purchase my six soak. Uh, it's got my tip information, my chocolate bunny tarot. I have Cash App. I also have PayPal. Thank you so much to all my Patreons. I love you. You guys are, you know, my whole entire support system. What else? Thank you guys. Thank you for your your shares on my videos, my your likes, um, and for those of you. I, you know, my new subscribers, I just got some new subscribers. So if I forgot to tell you too, if, if you're watching this reading, all my readings are timeless. Um, if you're a past subscriber, welcome back. If you're a new subscriber, you should know that all of my readings are timeless. So whenever you find these readings, they're for you. I love you Aquarius. Okay. Bye.